In South Africa, the quality of life sciences teaching requires special attention since life sciences is the third largest subject written by grade 12 learners. Life science has had more than four curriculum changes in the last seven years. And often when you start a new curriculum and you add new topics, what you will find is that teachers don't have the background knowledge, they don't have the time to go and research that. The Teaching Biology Project is a distinctive training program that supports pre- and in-service teachers by integrating life sciences content knowledge with information and communications technology. The project is executed by the Africa Genome Education Institute and the University of the Western Cape. We would like to keep teachers up to date with the latest information and we can do that via our website, but it's not enough. You need to meet face to face. TBP does this by facilitating practical and interactive life sciences workshops at three annual conferences during the school holidays. Life sciences is a living subject. It works so much better if you can see things. And in order for teachers to teach it effectively, they need to show what is happening. During these workshops, teachers are gently introduced to ICT classroom application, while leaders demonstrate lab experiments in an engaging way. We obviously teach them about the subject matter knowledge, so that they understand the concepts better and also what are the best examples to use to teach that. They are going to have more resources to take away with them than most teachers who've been teaching for years could possibly have. The project is also aimed at students who are studying to become teachers. For the past four years, TBP has been facilitating an annual amount of five workshops aimed at pre-service teachers. We have developed a number of innovative teaching strategies. We, we try our best to get young teachers or the pre-service teachers to look at the particular approaches to teaching of science that can be more exciting for young people. TBP also provides resources and follow-up support for both pre- and in-service teachers. In-service teachers have access to up-to-date web-based resources that are relevant for the classroom and aligned to the South African Life Sciences Curricula. Quite frankly, if they just download the stuff, they've got all the work they need and they can share with anybody else they like as well. Follow-up contact sessions are also scheduled with former pre-service teachers settling into their new schools. We look at the kinds of emerging issues that they find problematic while they were doing their practice teaching. And what our SEEDS project has done here is to workshop that. TBP's workshops inspired 550 teachers to spontaneously form critical friends groups. We take a group of teachers who might be at poorly managed or under-resourced schools, get them to work together and help each other. These teachers support each other by means of critical discussions and collaborative assessments. teacher we have here, they probably teach a minimum of 150 learners. So if you just look at the fact that we've had 600 teachers go through our project in the last four years, we're talking about 90,000 learners that have benefited 